it's so easy to get super stressed before a session. I know I used to. And what I found is that since I've created a streamlined sequence of poses, I go into sessions relaxed, which helps my clients have a great experience and results in higher album sales. So let's talk about how you can create this too. Hey, boudoir photographers. Are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there and welcome back. For the first few years in my photography business, I used to go into sessions so stressed out. I was a nervous wreck about not getting every photo a client wanted or I would know what the heck to do during the session. It wasn't fun and to be honest, it made me dread sessions so much more. I remember one session in particular. It was a three hour boudoir session. I can't believe I used to offer that, but I did. What was I thinking? Anyway, I knew that I was gonna have to come up with three hours worth of poses for this session. And I honestly didn't have a clue about where to start besides Pinterest. I still remember fighting through the nerves and pulling up poses from Instagram or Pinterest while she was changing, just trying to have enough poses to get through this session. And when I fell into bed that night, like at 6 p.m., I slept all night from the exhaustion. The next day, I removed three-hour sessions from my offerings because never again did I want to feel so exhausted after a session. The following day, I decided to come up with a posing sequence for all my sessions so that I would never feel this way again. And that's when I created a repeatable workflow for every session. So now... I go into sessions with full confidence and I nail every single one because I'm actually prepared. And those planned out sessions that are exactly like every other session have always resulted in high sales, which as a business owner is the most important thing. So let's talk about exactly how to build this easy boudoir posing flow into your business. Before we jump into the four steps to create an easy boudoir posing flow, I want to mention one thing. No matter if you're doing this in in in-person sales or if you're shoot and burn, it's important to over deliver with photos. But it's way more important if you're doing IPS because more photos is going to result in higher album sales. If you show her over 100 photos, she's going to have a lot harder time narrowing down her photos, meaning she's going to need a bigger album. So my goal is to never show under 60 photos, but personally, I prefer showing over 100. Showing over 100 has always helped me have album sales over $3,000 because it's so much harder to narrow them down. So in my experience, over 100 photos, I can almost guarantee that I'm going to have a $3,000 plus sale. Now, I want you to be able to do the same thing. I want you to build a boudoir posing flow to help you have those bigger album sales, but also remember that you can easily get 60 or more photos from 20 poses. You just need to get different angles and different expressions. I like to do looking at the camera, looking away, smiling at the camera, laughing away. Right there, you've got four different photos of at least every single pose. So you should easily get 80 photos from 20 poses to show your client. Okay, now let's talk about the steps to actually creating this boudoir posing sequence in your own business. The first step to create an easy boudoir posing flow is to create a repeatable flow that you can memorize. Honestly, this is probably the hardest step and maybe even the most time consuming part of determining your posing sequence. Depending on where you are in your photography career and your journey, you may need, you may not even know what poses are going to be high selling. And before we get too far into this, just know that your posing sequence is going to change over time. Don't freak out that you're committed to these until the end of time because you're not. My posing sequence has definitely evolved as I've grown as a photographer. I've taken poses out. I've added some I like better. I've added some back in after I've taken them out. It just changes over time. Since I've moved into my studio, I've definitely added in a few new ones and adjusted my posing sequence to work better in this new space. So while you are going to memorize these right now, just know that they're going to change over the years. That's 100% fine. To create this posing sequence, the first thing you need to do is decide which poses should go in your sequence. And like I said, this is going to depend a bit about where you are in your business. 
Right now though, I want you to think about what poses your clients always pick for their albums. Are there a few of them that your clients get every single time? Like for me, I know my best sellers are the poses with their legs up, the pose on the floor, especially the back arched one, and a few more, but those are the absolute cannot miss these photos in the sequence. If you're not quite to the point where you know which ones all clients are buying, think about the ones that make them drool on your Instagram. Which poses get the most likes and comments, those are the ones that need to be in your portfolio if possible. Another way to know is the ones that your models, if you're still in the portfolio building phase where you're shooting models, if the models are going excited about those, that's a good sign that those are going to be really popular poses as well. The second step to create an easy boudoir posing flow is picking props, setups, and doing it in the same order every single time because efficiency is key in your boudoir photography posing sequence. We all live in a busy world and we have busy lives. Don't waste your client's time if you don't have to. The other thing though, the faster you photograph a session, the more clients you can photograph in a day, meaning the more money you make, and also the faster you photograph a session, the more poses you can do. Efficiency is important and it's one of the best and easiest ways to be efficient is by planning out your setups so that you are efficient. In my studio, I have a very specific way I shoot. It has a lot to do with efficiency, but I also created a workflow so that the photos are already in the order I wanna show them for the ordering session. For example, I start with icebreaker poses that move to another set of poses on the same bed. I just have her change up the outfit she's wearing a little bit. Then we move to the chase lounge setup. I specifically wait for an outfit beside this setup and my icebreaker poses, because if not, she would go from a legs up pose in the first icebreaker pose to the same similar pose in the chase lounge setup. So I don't want that. And then I'd have to renumber, reorder the poses for the slideshow in the ordering session. And I don't want to waste my time. So I've just started switching it up during the session. I have noticed that if she sees both of those poses in a row, she's only gonna want one, and that of course lowers my sale. Then after I finish with the chase lounge, I move to the gray wall, then the white sheets. Do you see how I'm being both efficient during the session and after for the ordering session? I wanna make sure that during the session we're getting things done as quickly as possible. And then after the session, I don't give myself too much work. Hey, I write a newsletter every single week where I cover photography, business, marketing, strategy, industry happenings, client wins and celebrations, and so much more. It's just for you and you can get on the list right now at rebrand.ly slash TLC newsletter. And I will of course link it in the show notes as well. The third step to create an easy boudoir photography posing flow is to create a sequence that flows from standing to sitting to laying. Now, we just talked about efficiency and the same thing is important for this point. We wanna make sure that we're being efficient with how much she's moving. Your clients are gonna be exhausted the day after the session and sore, and they're gonna be exhausted the night of the session too, let's be honest. So one thing I've noticed is that my clients are less sore and tired now than they used to be when I was a newer photographer and a lot slower. I remember I would have to have them hold a pose for so long I'm so much more efficient now. I'm a lot faster and I'm really quick at getting them into the pose quickly so that they don't have to hold that arch for so long. And since I've gotten so much faster, I have way less complaints about being so sore because of that. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to be efficient anyway. So what I like to do is start in a pose and have her adjust that pose as many times as possible to get as many different poses as possible. One of my sets that I do is seven poses specifically. I start laying upside down on the chase lounge with her legs up, have her flip over on her stomach. Then I have her sit up on this chase lounge like normal. Then she moves to the floor with her legs on the chase lounge while she's laying on the floor on her back. And then we move to the back arch on her back in front of the chase lounge with the window behind her. She's super arched and long. That's my best seller. And then I have her flip over and I photograph a booty shot in that pose. So do you see how I've moved her through so many poses, but she's really done minimal movements at this point. I cannot say it enough, but efficiency is so important. Plan out your poses with minimal movement so that she can get as many poses and photos as possible. That's going to help you get plenty of photos for the album resulting in higher sales, which is our ultimate goal. Now the fourth step to create an easy boudoir posing flow is to not overshoot. Oh my gosh, this is so important. Do not overshoot. 
You do not need 30 photos of every single shot. I promise you need two of each different pose and expression max to make sure that everything is in focus. My associate does my culling now, so I honestly don't know how many she takes, but I know that when I was photographing my sessions, I never had more than 200 photos to cull through per session and usually just closer to 150 per session. This helps make your life so much more efficient because you know how overwhelming it is to pull up the session on your computer and realize you have 500 to 1,000 photos to cull through for one single session. It makes it so hard to want to actually cull through that session, you know. And I know that we have AI like Aftershoot to make things so much easier now. And it will cull it down to the best of the best. That's actually what Ashley uses to run our sessions through. And she sends them over to me after the session is cold and ready for the ordering session. It's just going to be so overwhelming when you pull it into your computer and see 500 to 1,000 from one single hour and a half session. Now, if you only get one thing from this episode, I want you to see how much easier having a boudoir posing sequence and plan will make your sessions. Plus, it's going to help you save so much time after the session too. But if you want to make things even easier, I have just the thing for you. It's called Boudoir Studio Accelerator and it is on sale right now. This is my signature course to help you create a boudoir photography business that gives your client an experience she's going to want to tell her friends about and that pays you really well. If you're ready to wake up every day knowing you get to create art for your clients and give them confidence at the same time and that you don't have to report to a nine to five and make another business money instead of yourself. If you're ready to check your email and see yet another glowing review come in proving that you changed yet another woman's life or you're ready to open your bank account and see two to $4,000 deposits from one session and knowing that this is going to continue to happen regularly. And one more thing, if you're ready to effortlessly communicate with your clients without actually needing to do any communicating at all, because your software is doing that for you. If any of this is you, I really want to encourage you to check out this program. I'm going to leave the link in the show notes so that you can check it out. And if you have any questions at all about whether or not this program is right for you, please DM me on Instagram at is Tracy Lynn and let's chat. I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not here just to make money. I truly want to help photographers achieve their big goals, owning a successful business, and more importantly, have a sustainable income. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you are interested in this program, please check out the link in the show notes. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.